hello and welcome everyone thank you for joining today's webinar my name is nikita devri i am a digital marketing executive at crave infotech before we getting started i'm going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker firstly if you wish to ask any question to the presenter we have q and a section and chat feature enabled we will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar we invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen we will have q and a session at the end of the webinar to answer your questions now i would like to welcome amurli siva and ashish we are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar delivering next generation intelligent asset management for sap customers murli is a sales and operations director for crave operations in india during his 20 plus years of industry serving he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma manufacturing engineering and it industries at present he is working closely with various intelligent asset management and automation projects in india we have siva with us he is sap eam iim expert at crave infotech he has 15 plus years of combined experience in serving thermal gas nuclear wind turbine power plant engineering and refinery engineering and top renewable pharmaceutical companies and sap implementation uh, siva has a strong understanding of integration between sap plant maintenance module with other sap modules we also have ashish with us he is senior sap functional analyst pm at crave infotech with 10 plus years of industry experience he is handling various automation projects for different industries like pharma manufacturing oil and gas for the end to end implementation of plant maintenance mobile solutions now without further ado i would like to hand over to murli to start with the presentation over to you murli thanks nikita thank you for the brief intro about all the speakers today and welcome you all for today's um crave webinar on intelligent asset management so um in fact today we have there are three speakers and um, other than me there are two um sme uh, of crave infotech who will talk about um, sap intelligent asset manager as well as uh, uh, crave innovations in this space so um, before turning to the topic i, I just w- wanted quickly to take you through the uh, uh, brief profile of crave infotech for your better understanding which will help us while interacting with each other further so and i'll not take few minutes i'll just take few minutes not much time so this is about the crave uh, journey we started in 2007 we are 14 years or old organization uh and during 2007 to 2021 22 there are various milestones we achieved we became a sap a partner worked closely in these 14 years along with sap in 14 we be, uh, expanded globally um we came up with our uh, innovative um, solutions which are available on sap app center almost 50 plus solutions we have today and during this journey we also won several uh, prestigious awards uh, sap as award became sap uh, war um, uh, for with the 20 plus uh, app listed on sap store and also we were one of the sap pinnacle finalists in uh, during this journey uh, today we have to our credit certain uh, pre packaged solutions like c maintenance c calibration c warehouse and today we will discuss about the portfolio in uh, asset management so quickly this is the future road map of the organization today in 2022 we are focusing uh, btp eam wam we have plans by 23 24 and 25 to become one of the leaders in this area uh, with a, uh, in a sap btp space so this is uh today's uh, organization crave infotech we have 150 plus team sites um worked on 50 plus uh, large enterprise customers 
partnered with SAP, Zebra, Hair Technology, Amazon, Google Partner. Uh, certifications, as I discussed, um, all quality related certifications and several other diverse certifications in place, and the awards which I mentioned uh, during the explaining the journey. So uh, we have five focused business verticals, intelligent asset management, the complete portfolio we will see today. Then intelligent warehouse management. Here we have end-to-end -end complete solution for uh, warehouse automation, whether it is a FG warehouse, production warehouse, or uh, spares, uh, covering all the uh, objects in the warehouse management. Then digital supply chain, which is again here we have multiple solutions, truck latency, yard management, uh, vendor uh, automation, and so on and business technology platform in which um, we work mainly for keep your S4 clean, side-by-side -side extension, design thinking, RPA, um, entire process automation through RPA, workflow, work zone, CAI, and so on. So this is um, the complete portfolio, products as well as services. Products, as I mentioned just now, the business verticals, services, these are in space of SAP. In fact, all this mainly all services are right from resource augmentation to uh, implementation and support, ECCS4, BTP, Fury enablement, then RPA, uh, CPI, and cloud analytics. So this is all about Crave uh, offerings or an entire portfolio. Coming to today's <coughs> uh, webinar, uh, topic about enterprise asset management, intelligent asset management. Uh, I would like to first discuss about the challenges in uh, asset services and uh, the expectations from various roles. So as you see, the, there are certain challenges when we talk about uh, um, disconnected people, process, and assets across operations. There are changing roles of manufacturers operators and service providers, then static and plan reactive maintenance policies established on installations, not dynamic to operating conditions. So inability to connect data signals and so on. So silos ac uh, across the supply chain and enterprise increases operational cost and we observe during our day-to-day -day activity days. So constraint in resources, we are uh, in-house resources, we are using third parties, um, service providers. So, and maintaining the dynamic demand impact the service with increased costs. So these are uh, typical challenges at marketplace when we talk about the entire asset management. And this entire asset management is if we divide it in three different roles normally they, these are the typical roles in the asset management maintenance engineers planners and plant heads and all these roles all these people they have their own set of expectations and their own set of challenges for example when we talk about maintenance engineer his thought is i spend most of the time on data collection and data entry so his decisions are based on experience and gut feeling and he get hardly any system intelligence when he work uh, during the, our system support when he work, most of his operation is again manual operation. When it comes to maintenance planner, so his typical challenge is I don't know if all my asset data are complete or not, my equipment performance, risk and maintenance data are sitting in silos. He has to still follow the traditional practice, which is time-based maintenance planning. There is no system intelligence available. And when it comes to the plant head, he challenges are different. He, of course, he, he has to work on the cost. He has to work on the timelines. He has to work on the, uh, the downtime and everything. So his thought is, I want to make my production schedule decisions based on the equipment health and reliability data. I want to optimize my cost. Maintenance budgets decisions are based on non-scientific methods. And these are, so in a nutshell, what we see is uh, all they look for the intelligence of digital automation, which is requirement of time. 
So when we talk about the entire end-to-end -end intelligent asset management maturity model, this is these are the stages. Uh, normally, uh, reactive is the first stage. And norm, most of the organizations they uh, fall in this uh, uh, phase. From there, the journey starts with preventive, then condition-based, and predictive. So with intelligent systems in place through SAP and Crave Innovative Solutions, we have to go through, I mean, we have to walk through this journey. Here we have provided certain um, uh, surveys uh, data. 76% of the organizations considered it is important to predict potential failure by leveraging data models. And only 21% organizations employ predictive and preventive maintenance. So if you look at the data, I mean, still there is a large number of organizations which still they struggle to have right consulting in place, right system in place, right automation in place. So if when, when we, again, when we talk about the entire asset performance and um, automation there are four different stages system of record data acquisition analysis and then corrective action when we talk about system of records it is your legacy erp system through which you we get the data like if you get master is there bom order processing calibration and so on and once that is in place most of the organizations it is already in there right so then what we do is we capture the data these are from the sources. And then there, there are various tools used, IoT, workflow management, which is your mobility, then collaborate with better information, asset intelligent network. So there are various tools in place for that. Then we analyze that data. So uh, we, we do uh, two types of analysis, performance and risk strategy assessment and predictive analysis. So for performance risk assessment, there are other certain tools like RCM, FMEA, RBI, risk-based inspection, RCA, root cause analysis and all. And then after analyzing, we take the corrective action. So which is this is the complete process of the asset performance automation. So coming to the IM strategy, when we talk about it is a intelligent asset management is nothing but EAM, enterprise asset management plus asset performance management. And we'll talk more on that today. So if you look at this slide, the internal rectangle, this that defines uh, about the um, SAP processes and the outer uh, uh, area is uh, asset performance management. So in this slide, we are talking again about uh, asset uh, management portfolio uh, with uh, various sections like asset performance management, the mobility part, the maintenance and service operations, um, synchronizing planning, scheduling, execution with automated processes and intelligent optimization, and then integrate environmental health safety policies to empower users with mobile work automation. So uh, talking about, AP, this is again another slide which talks about APM and we will talk more on that with a case study today because we have the expert Shiva who will talk about the case study. We'll brief you on uh, with a case study. So uh, is it, this, this slides talk about SAP asset manager with the key capabilities and you see certain uh, features we have mentioned over there. M mobile enabled processes integrated with uh, enterprise systems. So um, uh, which enables easy and timely execution, discovering asset readiness on location, taking measurement made easy and so on. And then ready to use extensible iOS and Android native apps. This is again the uh, another major feature of uh, asset manager and then industry specific components to en enhance specific business processes like crew reporting, meter management, customer services and so on. So uh, with this to talk more with uh, right case study, in fact, I invite Shiva over here who is our senior solution architect and I am an integration expert. 
So Siva, over to you. Siva will brief you uh, more about SAP IM with a case study in wind, wind farm or uh, turbine, wind turbine, you can say. Siva, over to you. Yeah, thanks, Murli. Yeah. Thanks to all uh, for giving us, uh, all the participants, for giving the opportunity for Crave uh, and for the demo on Crave SAP IAM process. You will come to know in my demo why I said Crave, because some of the means out of box solutions which are not provided by SAP, we are unable to enhance that one that I will discuss during my demo. Majorly, I have taken the wind turbine, means wind form uh, as a scenario, means case study, means user story. Uh, where uh, where we can utilize the same template for the other industries like captive power plant, thermal power plant, and, and other renewable energies. Because all the main um, plant like uh, steam turbine or of thermal power plant and uh, resembles the same as the nozzle of uh, wind turbine. This is, uh, uh, we have taken this, as a good study on this, yeah. And one thing in SAP IAM, there are four major uh, uh, modules we have. One is uh, asset intelligent network, which is connected from S4 HANA. Whatever the data we have in S4 HANA, we should not uh, make it. Uh, we should make it available in our. Uh, IAM area, so we use SS Central Foundation to integrate S4 HANA with IAM. And we have three other modules, which I'm going to discuss in my coming uh, slides. Asset Intelligent Network, Asset uh, Strategy Performance Management, Predictive Maintenance System, Predictive Insight, Engineering Insight, or, okay. These are the, uh, modules we are going to discuss. First of all, what we have to map? We have to map what are available in our S4 system, right? We need to utilize the data which we have from, from the very beginning of our SAP implementation. So SAP has given very good opportunity to integrate the data from S4 HANA, okay? Like you see here, whatever the uh, data which is uh, maintained in our SAP, like blade, uh, nozzle, gearbox as an equipment, in our are moved to uh, uh, are moved into our IAM system. Okay, when we sync this one, all our uh, uh, means uh, access data will be moved into our system. And what are the major uh, data which is moving from SAP and what are the data which is have to be created in our IAM. I will take you in the next slide. Uh, Murli, please. Next slide. When you see the next slide, the green boxes are the data which we have to move from SAP. And the blue boxes are the one, which uh, blocks are the one, uh, which we uh, have to do uh, in, these are the master data to be configured, um, and maintained in IAM space, like class, attributes, equipment, locations, instructions. Uh, these are the, some of the uh, main company profile. Okay. These are uh, the things which we uh, uh, inherit from S4 ANA and subclasses, templates, models, indicators, systems, alerts and failure moves. These are the ones which we create in IAM to enable our analysis. Okay, next slide, please. This is, uh, this is our next, we have done this in Crave. Okay, if you see, we have installed almost 194 equipments, 95 models, function locations. Uh, these are the, what we transfer from S4 HANA to our uh, IAM space, models, failure modes, uh, groups, announcements, templates, as, uh, assessment templates, these are all what we created. 
for all the not only wind farm we have done this for other areas like conveyor system for mining and food beverages airline industry and utility you have the template ready for all this master data so that you can utilize this template with very easy leave we can uh, take you to iam without any pain area yeah can you move yes this is the expect what asset intelligent network one is the one of the module in our uh, IA, iam space what this do this is very fantastically it is collaborating with our oem with uh, uh it will be collaborating with our original equipment manufacturer because sometimes what we do when we realize some failure or some uh, uh, some data missing in our system that we can directly take uh, share this information with oem our uh, original equipment manufacturer and they can give us suggestions on how to manage that one and and uh, whatever that uh, new bulletin coming from collaboration like oems we can adopt that also in our using our asset intelligent network module yeah here one of the case study we said uh, we have done fmea assessment for one of the uh, um, uh, one of the blade in there is a issue of blade crack and we have done the uh, analysis and we are going to share this analysis with my oem so that he will come up with if it is any issue he can give some suggestions on that that's uh, collaborations one again and this is having it's not listed one of the thing is if a trespasser is there yeah we can alert the uh, trespasser information to uh, our uh, uh, our uh, operator using this uh, iain application is yes, next yeah now i moved from iain to ss strategy and performance management system what this is uh, what sap uh, module this module in a architecture way we described here okay uh first of all we will capture the asset information that is equipment information okay and this equipment information initially we if there is an failure of that equipment is determined then we will see what is the risk and criticality of that uh, we will do assessment and uh, we will see what is the risk and criticality okay if the criticality falls under high medium or low okay if it falls under high we recommend to do your process using reliability center maintenance because the high criticality equipment does not only requires once failure uh, function to uh, realize what is your corrective action so we have to as a system we have to do that analysis so we uh, means sap also proposing this is the standard way of uh, means uh, reliability engineering where we have to do the system study is yes. if they the if you find that there is very uh, when your failure is medium then you can go to go for failure mode and effective analysis where you will get the uh, Uh, where you can easily do the your analysis okay at that failure mode and uh, uh, with one system and you can come to recommendations to correct the preventive maintenance order or preventive maintenance task list or any other format uh, so that you can uh, integrate that with our uh, sap It means sap has not given a integration option as of now but from crave side as an out of box option we can integrate with sap whatever the task list or uh, any changes you are doing in uh, uh, in iam space we can integrate it to sap okay without a manual intervention okay and while studying this if you want to study 
still uh, one one more uh, uh, head then one more uh, issue then you can go for pdms and you can structure a model and see when the next occurrence of failure may come and how to reduce this failure these are the main feature where we can discuss and uh, we have if your failure case comes on the typicality of flow then you are going to with root cause assessment okay these are the three assessment and we have a checklist assessment and other assessments with sap enabled in iam which have different processes okay and uh, you see here what is the major difference you see from uh, um, sap now is uh, in sap previously we are mostly focused on the operational uh, activities now we are very much focused on engineering act Activities by defining your engineering activities correctly, you can reduce your maintenance cost and then you can uh, make your system available for longer time. Thank you. Can you move another slide? Yeah. The first major master data for uh, uh, ASPM to activate your analysis to carry out is our failure mo mode. Okay. This failure modes you have to map uh, in our system as our, um, yeah, uh, you have to map in our system, okay, all the failure modes of your organization as the master data, okay. I have taken an example here uh, of a wind turbine industry where we have mapped uh, all the failure modes which are. Uh, specific to wind turbines like blade, tower, uh, shaft, all these failure modes we have mapped in our SAP. Okay. And with this, we have uh, some other master data to be uh, uh, activated, like impacts and sections, where we need to define what is the impact of that uh, failure, scale and answers, where uh, we define different. Uh, uh, questionaries, answers, and their uh, uh, ratings, uh, dimensions, and questions. These are some of the master data we can, uh, we have to enable to utilize this. We, uh, we have done all this enablement in IAM system. Yes. Next slide, please. Yeah. First, when you see the initial assessment, whether a failure, you know, you notice that there is a failure in the system. This, we can get it from your uh, the, uh, Leonardo IoT service, where we can integrate this IoT, uh, Leonardo IoT service with your DCS system or SCADA system or directly to your sensor. Whatever your uh, business requirement, we can integrate. SAP is giving all the provision. Okay. Once uh, we've detected there is a failure in the blade, Okay, we've detected small crack in the blade. So we analyzed what is the, according to the questionnaires, what will be the uh, means uh, uh, risk priority number, means what is the risk, where is, whether it is falling on the high risk area or low risk area, whether it can be mitigated without any maintenance, that will be the matrices here. So we noticed that uh, according to our uh, means scenario, it is a low risk, okay? It's a low risk. That means we will go for a low uh, risk analysis that is root, can, root cause analysis, okay? Can you move to next? Yeah, if it is not a low, uh, low risk area, then what happens? If it is high risk area, then we will go for means medium risk area, then uh, we will go for failure mode effective analysis. What this says, we need to uh, map all the failures which are, uh, uh, which we have in this blade. In this example, we used uh, wind turbine blade, okay? In the blade, we notice some of the failures, okay? In the failure, we will add the cause and the effect all these details here. And with the, all this detail, we will uh, get the RPN, okay? 
and according to the rpn we will decide the recommendation to create a notification or to change the uh, strategy of our maintenance these are if you see in one uh, one single um, frame you can get end to end uh, what is the fmea of your assessment okay and if you want to observe in the below slide you can see what is what uh, in future if you want to see what is good uh, analysis you can get in a very good view what we done the analysis on the uh, particular uh, failure next slide please this is rcm blade uh, means reliability center maintenance if you are uh, sorry this is uh, in this uh, reliability center maintenance, uh, we cannot do the uh, uh, assessment of any failure using one single system like blade. If the issue is at the high speed shaft, we need to, uh, it's a high speed shaft, right? It means it is a uh, rotating object. This may have different effects from blade, rotor, and other uh, gearbox, all these systems. So we uh, in the SAP has a given very good functionality to map all the system failures, each and one system failures, analyze one by one system failure like blade, uh, rotor, or, uh, or any other gearbox, all the system failures we will take into consideration analyze this properly and come up with recommendations. Each failure will be having its own risk priority number, okay? With that risk priority number, you, we will go back and check whether we are, uh, uh, we will go for a recommendation here. These are the three types and here it is very clearly addressed, uh, the portrayed here that how, how we uh, functions we take in we have uh, used in our uh, system okay if you see there are some this is a block uh, of uh, a standard rcm of wind turbine okay this block diagram we have taken this block diagram as the main uh, criteria and developed below if you can see the below we have developed functions different functions like wind capture uh, with the, in the wind capture, what is the uh, functional failure? What may, the, may be the functional failure? We added it. And functional mode means when rotating any sensor, uh, this is, we had a sensor has created this issue and what is that effect? Like this, this analysis will be go, uh, throughout this different uh, function, okay? Like a blade, like a rotor, like nozzle, all these functions will be carried out, okay? We can enable this for a wind uh, form level also. Also, we have done one analysis and it is, uh, we are able to uh, give a good demo. Can you? Now, when it comes to predictive maintenance, in predictive maintenance, uh, as you know, we should have the connection uh, from our uh, uh, means, uh, um, uh, measuring devices like instruments, all the instruments uh, data has to be uh, connected with the, our predictive engineering insight. To connect our uh, predictive means uh, measuring details of instrument, we have the uh, module called SAP Leonardo IoT Foundation, where it enables to connect with your uh, SCADA system. Uh, means control system or any other uh, um, um, directly with the sensor, okay? And once it is connected in the predictive engineering insight, we are going to do different types of analysis, okay? One of the analysis is here, we have shown how we do the uh, means uh, anomaly detection, means when there is an uh, abnormality detected in the system, how we analyze it. Okay, in standard SMP, there are some uh, standard functionalities, the uh, models they have given, which we can use like high dimension. If the dimensional, uh, if you have uh, two or three measurements and if you want to miss two or three like temperature, flow and uh, 
uh, any other three uh, pressure like that. If you have three or four different measurements, you can utilize that to determine your predictive analysis. And distance based, sorry, can you, okay. for distance based, we can, for a, any, um, for a, any uh, automobile industry, you can use distance based and high dimension for single dimension. If you want to do any analysis, we have high dimension. And we have other failure prediction uh, uh, operations. Whenever there is an operational failure, we have a predictive maintenance and model management also using ML we have activated. This is all we can demo you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Next. Uh, I think uh, Ashish. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Siva. Uh, thank first you. of all, thank you for covering the entire um, SAP side of uh, asset management portfolio. So before uh, pulling Ashish, in fact, I just wanted to, this is the diagram in which we show the end-to-end -end activity, right? From flexible scheduling, flexible dispatch, tracking, planning, approvals, and various uh, solutions mapped with this, uh, whether it is Crave as well as ACP solutions. And uh, here again, uh, we want to brief about the ACP side activity as well as the crave innovations we have siva has explained us um up to the uh, asset uh, ai and asset strategy performance management and predictive asset insight right solution implementation uh, up to acp part and yes, we ma would like to quickly brief you about uh, the crave prepackaged solutions which are supplementary to extension to the ex your AC existing acp activity through calibration planning workbench flexible scheduling uh, inventory and inspection so we have uh, various uh, uh, automation modules in place and i will invite uh, ashish to quickly brief on the crave innovation in the asset management yeah thank you murli hello everyone so as a crave we have like a product called c maintenance so c maintenance is the application like uh, in the plant maintenance we have the different processes preventive calibration breakdown general maintenance so in most of the industries most of the companies uh, they are executing all this maintenance activity manually or it is on the paper base and then user is entering the data into the system so considering that we have uh, develop the solution. So using this mobile solution, user can execute the activity from the field and then a, a user don't need to again enter the data into the SAP. Once you have executed uh, the maintenance activity from the mobile applications or tablet, uh, once you sync, then it will upload to the uh, SAP system or any other system. So here like uh, some advantages uh, of this application. So I will share my screen. Uh, Murli, can you give me, uh, make me a presenter? Yeah, just hold on. So I guess Nikita, you'll have to do that, right? Yes, you just stop sharing your screen. Uh, he can share then. Okay. Okay. So if you can see my screen, so we have uh, the solution like for the preventive and breakdown maintenance. So here the key functionalities of this solution, like whatever the list of open, uh, orders you are getting in the system that will be available in the application. User can see the dashboard, uh, user can self assign the work, release the work. Then uh, user can create the notification from the field in case of a breakdown. And we have the offline capabilities, like in most of the cases, like in the production area where the executor is doing the maintenance activity. Uh, so their internet connection, internet connectivity is not available. So in that case for the execution activity, like for capturing the readings in case of a calibration or for the maintenance activity. So user can do uh, those activities in the offline as well. And and once the internet connectivity is available, they can sync. So data will upload to the system. So here you can see from the mobile, the equipment history, 
uh, then you can uh, add the spare parts like both bomb non bomb and uh, the solution is barcode enabled like if there is some audit or something is going on and you want for the auditor you want to show the last maintenance history of the specific equipment you just need to scan the barcode available at the equipment and it will show the whole history of that specific equipment like when maintenance was done at what time it was executed which person has executed everything will display in the history so it is a total 100% paperless solution uh, so like as a purpose of the audit we have also uh, providing the uh, like um, report like execution summary report that also i will show in the demo so we have this offline solution for preventive breakdown calibration all the processes which are generally used for the plant maintenance so i will uh, show the process flow how the uh, this uh, process will work so this is the uh, process flow for the preventive maintenance and i will show you the demo of the preventive how it will work on field so here the block number 1 where user all the your uh, master data will be available in the sap your schedule maintenance schedule everything will be available in the sap then from the block number 2 it will be the mobile application where user will get the list of open orders suppose i have uh, 15 equipments available in one block and that the maintenance is available uh, maintenance is due so all the list of open orders which right now you are uh, maintaining manually in the excel or it is available in your sap system in iw38 so all those orders you will get here in the mobile application then based on the mobile application if there is any clearance from the user or you have you can start the maintenance activity you can do the self assignment of the work that is block number 3 you can release or start the work from the mobile so if you can see here it is a total online call then from the block number 4 so block number 4 is a like when you are going to start the actual activity so here is a pre approval by business user so pre approval means like if you are take equipment hand equipment take over you are taking the equipment from the business side so the business side will provide the digital signature that they are ready they are okay to start the maintenance activity so they will provide the pre approval then we have also added the check like many times what is happening user uh, the executor the executor is not doing the maintenance of the correct equipment so for that we have here added the like equipment verification by barcode scan so user can scan the barcode and uh, automatically the system will check so he is doing the maintenance of the correct equipment or not so this is block number 4 then block number 5 where user will do the actual activity like work start observation capture so in case of a prevent you all your checklist task list will be available in the mobile then user can do the material reservation work confirmation and once the whole activity is confirmed there will be the post approval so post approval by your production user in case of a pharmaceutical industries uh, like they require the qa approval or something so all these things can be added here then once the whole activity is done then it will be the order technical completion by supervisor another thing like we see in case of a preventive and calibration there like once the maintenance is done uh, we stick the label like when the maintenance has been carried out so many times user has to come into the office then he is taking the print so we have the solution where uh, we can uh, integrate this mobile application with the zebra printers so these zebra printers are the bluetooth printer Uh, so with uh, by using the bluetooth we are connecting the tablets with the zebra printers and at uh, at on the field the user can print the label and can stick on the equipment of the maintenance completed maintenance uh, details so once the whole activity is done then user will come into the network area and will sync so once sync whatever the activity user has carried out in the mobile in the offline that will upload to the system now this is the block number 10 so here in this whole case you are not using the paper all the activity you are doing from the mobile now all the data which you have uh, executed uh, from the mobile that is uploaded to the sap now for the audit purpose when there will be the audit or you want to show that uh, specific equipment history so this will be the block number 10 all the your equipment details maintenance activity details will be available in the system and that you can show directly from the sap so that i will show in the demo so i will start directly from the demo so uh, this will be the demo like uh, login screen where from the mobile application or in the tablet user can login by using id and password so once login into the application it will show the list of maintenance orders which are due 
for the maintenance so now you can see here open orders my orders overdue orders if any your maintenance activity is getting overdue the application will show how many orders are overdue and here like uh, based on your access and authorization to the block if you have uh, 10000 or 500 uh, whatever the number uh, open orders so it, here we have provided the functionality like search you can search whatever you know suppose you just know 734 of the equipment id you will just enter the 734 it will search the specific record so it will work like a fuzzy search and this product is totally configurable uh, so we have added many functionalities but as per your business requirement if some functionalities are not required or you want to add some other functionalities which you are following as per your current manual process so yes that we can also add in our current uh, uh, this application so here there is option of a filter where user can filter the uh, filter the orders like you want to see of specific date range orders in the system so that also possible by using the filter so now if you see here the list of open orders and next one is the my order so in the my order setting showing zero orders so suppose i know i i have to work on this cooling oil temperature maintenance so i will click on this radio button so it will assign to myself if you go into the my orders it will display the one record the same way if you like you know in the morning i have to execute the maintenance of five equipments today so you can assign the multiple orders as well then once you have assigned the order now suppose you want to do the maintenance activity you have to just click on this row so once you click on this row it will redirect uh, to the specific equipment order details screen so this will be the order detail screen where i will get the order number what is the description what is the tag id suppose if you are maintaining the internal ids so that will also display where it is located and so this all uh, fields are configurable then if you see here three tabs are available like checklist material history so right now i have not started the work so my checklist is disabled right now so i will click on start order so on the click of start order it will show me the business pre approval so i am at production area so i will ask the production person to enter his uh, credentials so he will approve it digitally so once it is digitally approved by the production person that you are ready to go to start the maintenance activity so here it, we have feature like you can see the equipment history so for this specific equipment how many times the breakdown happened uh, so all these details will be available here so once you click on this start order so your maintenance activity will get started so now you can see it will capture the all the logs like date and timestamp everything will be uh, everything will be captured so now i can start the activity so i can capture the observations and for any observations if like there is some observations i found so i can select it as a no you can enter the remark in the checklist and suppose for this any point you require the spare parts you can go here both options are available equipment bomb non bomb so here like all the materials which are available in your plant that will display suppose i want specific material bearing so i will search specific uh, spare part i can add so it will ask me to for which operation you require the material that i can select i can select the quantity how much quantity i required then i will click so i can add the one material here so history is the same it will be available then in the checklist one by one user can capture the remaining activity so if you have like multiple person also can work on the same check checklist that option is also available here so once the whole activity is done then user can go for the work confirmation so this is nothing but your iw41 whatever you are doing in the sap that automatically the system will calculate based on the click of the buttons so right now the reservation number is not available so i will showing so based on the reservation number i will issue these spare parts from the warehouse so i have used that one then i can confirm the work so on confirm so this on the confirm this time will captured as your actual end time of the work so here it will ask for the uh, approval of the executor the executor will enter the remark comments whatever required and once the whole activity is done then supervisor will review uh, the user, uh, the executor has uh, captured all the maintenance activity or not 
and we'll provide the sign off. So once it is sign off, then you can, if the internet connectivity is available, you click on the string data. So it will transfer all the activity you have performed in the offline and it will upload to the your system. So the order which we have executed, it will remove. And now for the audit purpose, if for the audit purpose, you want to show the summary. So in the system, we can provide you uh, this type of a report where you can see all the executed maintenance details like administrative details, equipment details, then at which location your uh, that specific uh, equipment was installed. Then for each operation, like what observations we have captured, like it is a yes or no, that details can also be captured. And in the bottom, it will show like if you are using any spare parts, so that details will be there. And when you have carried out the activity with start date time, end date time, what we, which person has attended the details, that will display here. And in the bottom, we can show like remarks added against the each checkpoints and uh, digital signature, like which person has reviewed the activity, which person has performed the activity, that details will be available in case of a uh, this maintenance activity. So the same application is available for the calibration as well as for the breakdown. And also we have like for the uh, for the planner. So as a planner, I want to see how many orders by status, orders by priority. So we have this planning dashboard available where you can see the status of the orders. If you are using the HR module and assigning the work to the your resources, so that one is also possible. So then we have like many models available here, notification for the breakdown. Then uh, you can, uh, if you want to track, if your activities in on the field, so map functionality is available uh, on the maintenance status at the runtime, you can check the status. So these are the uh, different functionalities available in uh, this product called C maintenance. Yeah, Murli. So thank you, Ashish. Thanks for a wonderful demo of uh, the Crave applications, Crave innovations in this area. So with this, um, before we close, in fact, we wanted to quickly run one question poll. So Nikita, over to you. Could you share the questions? Yeah. Yeah. So this is for audience. Um, we would like to understand more about your current landscape, uh, current challenges. And that is why we have given this small questionnaire so that we can reach out to you. <clears throat> so the first question is, are you facing any challenges in current asset management process? The second one is, are you planning to digitalize your current asset management process? And the third one is, would you like to have a detailed discussion, one-on-one -on -one discussion with your, uh, with our team um, for Crave IM solution? So uh, please uh, provide your, um, uh, the poll to this question so that we can reach out to you. There are no questions. I'm not seeing any question in chat box or in a QA. So with this, Nikita will uh, close this session. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining today's webinar. And we look forward to connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you so much.